In this video, I am going to show you how to find authentic research gaps with the help of Google Scholar and ChatGPT. Please make sure to check out my previous video on research gap types and examples. I am using Google Scholar first because it helps to understand the topic and the limitations of previous studies. Step 1. Identify a broad research area. Start by defining the general field or topic you're interested in. Let's move on to the laptop screen. Here, I asked ChatGPT to give me topics related to psychology. As you can see, I received various topics. I want to focus on stress management techniques for healthcare workers. Step 2. Use Google Scholar to search for recent articles, papers, and studies. Now, let's go to Google Scholar. I will use and between stress management and healthcare workers. You can use Boolean operators such as and, or, and not to refine your search results. Boolean operators are words and symbols that help narrow or broaden search results in databases and search engines. The purpose of Boolean operators is to make searches more precise and save time. Now, back to the screen. First, we need to set the timeline to recent, 2020 to 2024. Let's look at the first article. There's no need to read the entire article. It is essential that you know basic concepts related to your topic. I already have a basic understanding of the topic. From the title and abstract, I can see that the study focuses on healthcare workers and stress management techniques like online acceptance and commitment therapy. Let's move on to the second article. Its focus is related to my topic, but it's specific to China. For now, I want to keep my focus general. Now, let's look at the third article. It's a systematic review, but I will not choose it because systematic reviews highlight known research, limiting the discovery of unexplored or emerging areas. Next article, it discusses mindfulness techniques to reduce stress in healthcare workers, which is relevant to my topic. And the following article also mentions related concepts to my topic, so I am going to choose this one. It is crucial that the articles you select are recent and closely related to your topic. A basic understanding of the topic is also important. Step 3. Ask ChatGPT to summarize trends or identify gaps. ChatGPT can assist in refining your understanding and help you find gaps by processing and analyzing data. Here's what I will do. I will copy only the results sections of these articles. I will ask ChatGPT to identify common themes, trends, or areas that are insufficiently explored in these articles' results sections. I instructed ChatGPT to find specific and unique areas that remain underexplored in these articles, and I have already copied the results sections of those articles. Now, we have several gaps identified. The first gap highlights the need for long-term interventions. Intervention effects over six months to a year could provide more valuable results. Another gap mentions aspects that the articles did not address, such as workload and technological barriers. It also discusses gaps like individual approaches based on specific stress profiles, work environments, or personal coping mechanisms. There are also gaps related to technology, such as platform design, interactive components, and user experience. Additionally, it mentions peer-based gaps and population gaps. Understanding these different types of gaps is essential. You can see my other video on this topic. Step 4. Narrow down the gap. Now, let's narrow down one of the gaps. I also asked ChatGPT to help me formulate a research question. This will help in gaining more insight into the research gap. We now have a research gap, the impact of individual differences. For example, baseline psychological flexibility, personality traits, on the effectiveness of stress management interventions for healthcare workers. I think this is a good one. We also have research questions that we can use to search for previous studies on Google Scholar for limitations. These questions can also be used to evaluate limitations in the articles we've already selected. However, three articles might not provide enough literature. So let's search for more articles to find additional limitations. Step 5. Find limitations of previous studies. I asked ChatGPT for limitations and article names. Now, remember, 
we should not use ChatGPT articles as references in the paper. We just need to copy the article names and search them on Google Scholar. Google Scholar will provide similar article results. Again, the timeline should be recent, so I will update it to include articles published since 2021. The first article is the same one we previously collected to find research articles. As I mentioned earlier, we can also use these articles as limitations. This shows we are on the right track. Now, let's look at the second article. The objective and methodology of this paper focus on an in-person or virtual mindfulness-based cognitive therapy, MBCT, program for healthcare workers. However, it does not address individual differences in how this program affects healthcare workers. This article can be used as a limitation for previous studies. Similarly, you can repeat this process to find more literature reviews. ChatGPT can also assist in this. Here is the article we discussed earlier. Now, I will copy the results section of this article. Next, on ChatGPT, I will ask for limitations based on my research gap. I will also provide my research gap in the query. ChatGPT has analyzed the article and indicated that it is related to our research but it doesn't discuss the impact of individual differences. We can use this as a limitation in our paper. You can repeat this process to find more literature and limitations. Remember, focus on the fact that previous studies have findings on certain aspects, but none address the factors we plan to explore. That's where the gap lies. I know this process can be exhaustive, but as a researcher, whether you are a student or working on research for class, do not rely solely on AI tools like ChatGPT. Use ChatGPT as an assistant, not as the sole source of your research. Please subscribe, like, and share for more research tips.